If you had the chance, would you go back in time? If you had the option to go back in time to any of your favorite memories, experiences, or whatever it may be, how many of you would do it? I'm sure there are people that are saying they wouldn't do something like that because they think it would mess up their future right now, or that something would go wrong if they messed up time. But there are also those people that would love to go back in time. There might have been something that happened in the past that they would love to go back and relive, a mistake that they might want to fix, or maybe they just don't like the way that their lives are right now and would want to go back and change their actions so that they could have a better one. Whenever my family goes out somewhere, whether it be an amusement park, a fancy restaurant, another country, or anywhere really, they always try to take lots of pictures. I don't know if you're familiar with what I'm talking about, but at times it gets a little annoying. Just imagine walking around Disneyland, trying to rush for a ride because you know the lines are long, but your parents want to stop every 30 seconds because they just saw Mickey and Minnie pass by, or they want to take a cliche picture right in front of the castle. Pictures were the only things that my parents were into. Going on It's a Small World ride, my mom would always want to take a video of it whenever we would go on. The situation that we were in w would kind of dictate what kind of media form my mother would want to capture. When I was younger and something like this would happen, I'd get annoyed and constantly ask them, why do we always have to take pictures? Or, why do we always stop to take pictures? I would always nag them constantly because they always want to take pictures, even though I didn't want to, or because I didn't feel like it. Maybe some of you can relate. I mean, it wasn't just me that was complaining. My older sister always had something to say too, and now my little brother always has something to say. Of course, as a child, I didn't think much of what my parents might be thinking whenever we're on these trips. I'm sure now that we're older, the obvious answer is that they're getting old and they want to be able to cherish the memories that they've had throughout their lifetime. I wish that idea was made even more obvious to me when I was younger, so I'd be able to understand how they were feeling. Over the course of my lifetime, I've been exposed to all sorts of photos and videos. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and look at a lot of pictures. I like to categorize pictures and videos into two different but general categories. This category number one, everyone is familiar to this. It's the movies that we see in the theaters and the pictures that we see online that are set up and staged. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it, but it's just what it is. Category number two would be more of what I like to think of as in the moment shots. This could be somewhere along the lines of pictures of the first kiss at a wedding or something like a home video. The camera is there merely to capture the moment as it happens and not make something artificial. Although set up movies and pictures can be a depiction of something that is real, but technically speaking, it's not the actual moment that is happening. I've had my share of making videos, but I've also taken a few photography classes to expand my knowledge of videography. Earlier this year, I had a documentary project for my film and video class. My group had decided that they wanted to do a documentary about an individual that everyone on the campus was familiar with, but at the same time, nobody really knew anything about him. In one of our interviews, our interviewee talked about music. He said that he believed the music that we listen to is a soundtrack to our lives. The connection between music and memory. In 20 years, you could hear a song that you are listening to right now, and it'll flash you right back to the exact moment that you were listening to that song last. In a study conducted by Peter Janata in 2009, 13 UC Davis students list listened to several music tracks. Their brain activities were recorded, as well as each chord and major and minor key that were being played within each music track. Janata created a map of each track in order to see the progression of the tones that were being played within each music track. What he had seen was that, the map was being tracked inside of each participant's brain within the same region that the memory was being experienced. This experiment had concluded Janata's hypothesis that the brain region links music and memory. This connection between music and memory really intrigued me because, as a videographer, almost the same exact concept applies. The difference between photos and videos for music is that there is a physical representation of that memory. That memory doesn't necessarily have to be a good one, but it's still a memory regardless. If you're looking at a video or photo from that category number two that I was talking about earlier, that is the exact representation of a memory, and even with that category number one, although it might not be the exact memory, the feelings that the creator wanted to induce could cause the person watching to flash right back to a memory. Take more pictures and videos, whether it be category number one type or category number two type that I was talking about. These are the things that we are going to look forward to once we get older, being able to cherish the memories that we had in the past and hold them dear. Of course, we're always going to have the memories that are already in our minds, but there's a different type of nostalgia when we're able to physically see what happened in the, our past rather than seeing it within our minds. I think back to the way that I was towards my parents, although at the time I thought my actions were justifiable since we were at Disneyland for a reason and the lines were really long. 
The lines at Disneyland are always going to be long, but the rides are always going to be there. Sure, the rides could break down or close down for the day, but they could get fixed and repaired and there's always next time. As humans, once we break down, there's no repairing that can be done.